Oh my god! Oh, we gotta run! Oh! What is up, guys? ZZ here, and welcome back to Made of Skr. We're gonna get right back into this. Uh, last episode, we made it to the um, the basement, and uh, we encountered a little bit of trouble. Um, I didn't save, so I have to go heal myself again. Alright, let's look at this map. So where the flip am I? Okay, so... <sighs> this is just great. Alright. We're back in it. Now... Alright, so I like creeping in these rooms. But I don't... Let that sound like it was up. You don't want to do too much, though, you know, because you make too much noise. Oh! That scared the... Oh, my goodness gracious. Can I crouch? Bro, I am so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, how many music dolls do I have? Two music dolls? I love the song that plays for the music dolls. I love it. Um, so we have three phonographs. And this is the ground floor and this is the basement. So really, I could go right back upstairs if I really wanted to. But I should have left that music box over there. This is not the place to go. Jump scare coming right now. You're making too much noise, bro. Way too much noise. Oh my god, so many sticks! You're making way too much noise, bro. Oh! Oh my god! Back up, back up, back up! So we know they're down here. Bro. See, I know how to crouch. I knew how to crouch before it even happened. Ha ha! People think they got something on me. They shouldn't be in here, right? Okay. 
can't walk down here. But there's a music box over here. That we know for sure. There's multiple ways to go. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna go here. Don't move too fast. Can't go that way. This is scary. Anything could happen at any moment. Oh, God, what is this? What was that? I should not be down here. Why did I get myself involved in this? Yeah, like I was getting in, in fumed with some toxic waste. Those fumes, like I couldn't help but to not cough. What do I need to heal for? I'm just gonna keep that because I don't need to necessarily heal right now. Yeah, they think. They think I'm not gonna stay crouched. This is a death trap waiting to happen. Now, what is this? And what is that? And what is this? And what is all these things? Do I want to do this right now? Or do I want to sit here and not die? Well. Okay. Oh, this is a long way up, ain't it? That flipping scared the crap out of me. Oh. Cutscene? Cutscene. Either cutscene or new place in the game. What is this? A phono uh, phonograph. This is so loud. That was it. The dog's out here somewhere. The doll. Alright, yeah, my footsteps are making lots and lots of noise. There was a lot of rooms back there that I did not check out. Uh, so I might have. the flip is this? This is this sounds too familiar. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, he just walking. How you doing, bro?
Yeah, just keep on walking, bro. We don't want no trouble. We do not want any trouble. I'm just trying to get past. That's all. It's funny how they don't hear these music boxes. You come back over here? Seems like it, aren't you? Yeah, stay right there, bro. Stay right there, bro. We don't need we don't we don't want nothing. Yeah, let's keep walking, bro. Let's keep walking, bro. I'm kind of picking up your little pace right here. You're going to go right there, you're going to go right there, and you're going to come back and turn over there. So, obviously, if you time this right, I can get to places that I need to get to if I stay relatively quiet. You didn't hear nothing, bro. <laughs> bro, like a fire is killing you, bro. Mystery notes. I hear whispers of the Williams family and their evil deeds they have committed. There's too much circumstance to suggest that they are not honest men. The leader of their of these criminals, Jebediah Williams, the head of the Williams family. They are more than humble fishermen with deep pockets. It is unusual and suspicious. I am sure they are the cause of the missing ships around Skur Island in recent years. The poor lost souls of each vessel, collateral for lining their pockets, hidden on their land. I'm going to find the truth. The rumors must have some morsel of truth to them. The Williams family are smugglers, wreckers, and murderers. I will expose them, and the good people will know the truth. Wow, that doesn't look good at all, does it? Like, we absolutely love that, don't we? Oh, what is this? Where's our little doggo? I can hear you. I wonder where you are. I wonder if I'll ever find you. Just checking my surroundings. I feel like they could pop out at any second. <laughs> Anything here? Bro, like, can you not cough every single time you come around a fire? Like, are your lungs made out of nothing? Like, come on, bro. <gasps> Doggo! Listen, I'm gonna need you to be a little quieter, alright? Just a teeny tiny bit quieter. I'm gonna scout out what I'm about to walk into first.
you sit here and you're like you're trying to listen for footsteps and stuff. So like, and watch out! Walk past this fire, I'm gonna flipping breathe like I'm about to cough up a lung. What way is this way? <laughs> Bro, come on. This is great, isn't it? We love this. We absolutely love it. Which way am I supposed to be going? This is literally the worst. I mean, I have the only thing I have on my on my side is sight. They can't see nothing. Some more of that great tonic, you know what I mean? They can't hurt me with this tonic. Am I supposed to walk in there? Probably. Do I want to open the door? No. Nope. Oh. Prudence. Williams. Whoa. Uh oh, a little dude with a dang uh, a dang staff trying to come back on us. Oh, he's standing right there too. Look, bro, we don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble. Ooh, hey, look. We just chilling, man. Ooh. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, we got to run. Oh. Why did we make noise? Now we got something in our arm. He can't see us if we run. Now we're down here and we don't know what the flip to expect. This is just great. Splendid day. Splendid day it is. I feel like I have missed so much. We know this is a safe room. So you should be relatively safe in these areas. That's all good you say. But I don't see why I shall need your assistance. I like it less than you. I have other jobs need attending. But your father insisted. Make sure she practices. She must be ready. His very words. Be ready for what? This here uh, contraption is spinning. So go on with you. Start your second. You said be ready for what? Well, um... Well, how should I fucking know my brother's mind? Fucking hell, lass. Are you bloody well gonna sing or what? It's in a different language.
That's just great, isn't it? I'm kind of stuck in this area. And I feel like we've kind of... If we can get back in that house, I would love to go to those doors that I didn't go to. What's in here? Yeah, we don't want to do that. I don't know what that is. I'm not trusting myself in a room that's completely dark. Look at this. I love your singing. What is that? We're going to be crouched for the remainder of this game, so, uh, yeah. Just how it's going to be. I'm being very cautious. What the flip? Stuff is, uh, moving. Isaac's account of the of HMS Providence. Providence. Uh, February 3rd, 1874, the storm of the century battered the island night, uh, island last night. The men, they say, to have spotted a vessel off the coast, and my father has ordered us to extinguish the flames of the beacon. Word from the men informs me that our ship ran aground on the stone coast east of Skir Point. Myself in awe at the size of this vessel engraved on a plaque. On the port side of the ship reads its name, HMS Province. February 10th, 1874, my men, under order by my father, transferred the remains of the ship into the cavern beneath Skirt Point. We sav salvaged what we could from the ship, anything of value, most importantly, the contents of the cargo hold. February 11th, 1874. Something was discovered inside the wreck, buried in the cargo hold. Something I've never seen before. It's alive in such a tragic and in such a tragic state. My father thinks it's fortunate that it is weak, for it tries to sing. Unloaded the car, unloaded the cargo. Some of the men, um, began to act strange in the presence of this creature. Its singing seems to have an effect on them, even if it's weakened condition, even in its weakened condition. I find this fascinating and need to take some notes. Father is becoming concerned. The more I learn about this mindless creature, it seems that the song it sings lures its prey so it can devour and survive. My father is beginning to see the potential of this beast and what we can accomplish with its power if we can somehow harness it. February 15th, my father has begun to use this creature upon Skirt Point chained to the beacon to aid in its luring vessels here. With this, we can increase our potential earnings from the wrecks. I may have an idea of harnessing this power further with the help of my beloved prudence, of prudence. I will take some time to present this to Father and get his blessing. Isaac Williams. So, obviously, There's something going on here. They found something and it just wasn't the best. Um, watch it make all the noise in the world. Yeah. Take your time. Like, I don't have to go nowhere. Uh, but. What I'm getting at is basically, I think, I think they found something and I think that it's really just in a bad situation because they found something and it was just in a wreck and I don't think it was necessarily
Oh, he. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm dead, bros. I'm dead. Woo! Hey, keep walking. Go this way. Um, is there another one down there? Yeah, there's multiple people in here. Alright, so there's probably some artifacts in the middle here that I need to, you know, mess with to kind of evade these guys. Yeah, you're just standing there having a great, grand old time. There, hey, there's gonna be something that I need over there. Pretty sure. The flip was that? This place is crawling with these monsters. So they can't back up, back up. Come on. Bro, there ain't nothing there, bro. There ain't nothing there for you to see, bro. Just keep walking, bro. Alright, so if I go and, and press this button, what this man gonna do? Just keep walking, bro. He heard that. That's what I needed. Thank you. That didn't help me, did it? That helped him move out of the way. What? What did? <coughs> Now what did that do? That did something and I don't know what it did. I need to turn up the brightness of this show. Like I can't see nothing. Just 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 a little bit, like I can't see it. I can't see anything. Does that help? Yeah, that definitely helps. Yeah, keep walking, bro. Just keep walking, bro. You ain't gonna see the power zone. You ain't gonna see the power zone. So, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, you're eventually gonna keep walking. So keep walking. Yeah, just keep walking, bro. No. No. Hey, listen. What did you hear? What did you hear? Just keep walking that way. Looks like you're just going to be chilling there, aren't you? Well, whatever I was supposed to get, I guess I lost my opportunity. I'm pretty sure there's some artifacts over there somewhere or... something that I'm supposed to get because now he's staying there and he doesn't want to turn around and move oh there's oh y'all both coming over here y'all think it's a y'all think it's a party well you know what if whatever I needed was that important over there I'm pretty sure I would have saw it so I'm just gonna go this way. <coughs> bro, come on, bro. <laughs> bro.
They both just chilling over here. Yep, I need to move. You're a little too close to my comfort, little bro. This is going to make the loudest noise. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Actually, it might be good. Look where am I? Look where I am. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we ain't done yet. We still got a little dog though. Little doggy, little doggy. I missed one of those music boxes. Great. So much for the completionist route. I'm never gonna go back down there. Guarantee it. How many tonics do I have? Got nervous tonics. What's this? Hello? I could go back down. I wonder if that's a thing. So what is this place and where? Why am I here? <coughs> they couldn't make anything louder, bro. What just happened? What was that? Wow! Fancy! Fancy, fancy. Now, where is this? Do I have a map? No map available? Uh, okay, what? Where is this? I feel like I've been down here. Listen, hey, look, let's sit here and vibe real quick. I like this song, it's very soothing. I wonder if they can hear the music boxes. I wonder if they can hear them. Like, it's still nighttime, it's feel like this is the longest night ever. Um, yeah. There was a cylinder down there somewhere, wasn't there? Wait, can I go back? 
I feel like there was a cylinder down there. Did I miss the cylinder? Is there a way I can go and get the cylinder? Alright, can I go back down there? I'm gonna just see and try. Like, is that an option? Oh, so I could... Oh. Hmm. I feel like there was a cylinder down there, and I wasn't really thorough. I mean, there was only... They were kind of pointing me in one direction. There was a door that I didn't go to. But that there was an area down there that I just didn't go searching for. I might have to... Uh, hopefully, I can come back to this area and... Because I feel like that little area where, you know, the aura was and it was singing or whatever, I feel like that's where a, a cylinder was. But what do I know? Hopefully, I'm not screwing myself over. Some crap's about to happen, y'all. Like, what is this? Bro. Bro, what is happening? Oh no. Is that the guy we just had? That we were trying to save? And we didn't save him? Objective updated. Look for the cylinders around the hotel. Retreat to the hotel. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Where'd the dog go? Is a dog the figment of our imagination? Seems like the dog just, uh, seems like the dog just, like, disappears and comes back whenever he kind of wants to, you know. Could I go back? I could go back. Okay. Alright, so I just want that to be aware. So if I miss anything, I can go back and I can go all the way back. And obviously, I wouldn't do that, but that's something that can definitely happen. Um... I feel like there was a cylinder down there somewhere. Not exactly sure. But uh, at this point, I'm just looking for a safe room. Ah. And this is one of the most cryptic safe rooms that we've been in yet. someone. Get all of this out. Get this down somewhere. My father does not know that I'm making this recording, but I need to confide in, well, in you, mother. He has been pushing me, pushing me more and more in my lessons to sing as you once did. But there is something else. There's a mania to his actions of late. He seems consumed with his latest scheme to revive the hotel, but it is more than that too. Both he and Abraham have been so agitated of late, and they argue more than before. I overheard them in heated discourse over a guest who had disappeared, I assume without paying. My father was furious that there was nothing that could be salvaged from it, and mother, you have never heard such language. I know our finances are dwindling, and his heart is set on restoring the glory days of Scare Hotel, but he sets so much on my shoulders. I'm not sure if I can do it, Mother. I'm not sure if I can be you. Hmm. Well. 
I think I know what's going on a little bit. Um, the madness of whatever was in that, uh... The madness of whatever they found on that ship is taking over them. And I feel like it's done a number at this point. Um, but I think we're gonna leave this episode here. I like where this is going, and I think that this is a great, great, great game right now. Graphics were amazing. It has me terrified most of the time. And, uh... I love it. I love that I gotta, you know, be cognizant of being quiet and making sure I don't make a lot of noise, you know. So, um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Um, I upload at least two times a week. Um, it's gonna it's gonna shorten down to one because college is coming, and school and stuff like that. But um, if you guys like, uh, please subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.